James the Lesser, we don't know how to do any pulls with anything yet. Like, I'm looking to do pulls with Nightbot and stuff, and I think it would still work here on YouTube like we were trying to get it to work on Twitch. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible. When you're looking for something online about, eh, something not related to DSP, but you find him anyways. It's like he stalked you, Josh. He's stalking you. Making sure you find nothing but stuff about him. Now, what is it? Best Buy stores. Concerning unemployment services. Huh. For those of you who don't know, I want to take the time to explain to you how DSP used to run Street Fighter tournaments when he wasn't losing at EVO. To help run those tournaments, he bought several PlayStation 2s using his employee discount at Best Buy. Now, employee discount is for the employee to, you know, buy a movie and get a little bit of a discount. Buy a gaming console for himself and get a little bit of a discount. Not buy 10 of them so you can use them in tournaments to make yourself money. Now, That is what got him in trouble. That's what got him fired. Over the years, DSP has cried. They just were looking for any reason to get rid of me because I refused to do what they told me. What did they tell him to do? Take some extra courses on a computer so he could learn more. So he could do more. So he could help out the company more. Obviously, just the little tiniest bit of effort was just too much work for him. And it was... Something very simple, like, hey, take this five-question course on the computer, and, hey, then you'll be able to do this. No, there wasn't a job description when I signed up, guys. Okay. Anyways, they fired him. He cried like a bitch. Filed for unemployment. Oh, hey. Best Buy went to court to try to keep from having to pay him. Because he was using his employee discount buy PlayStation 2s to use for personal benefit and business. <sighs> Case history and jurisdiction. The administrator ruled the claimant eligible for unemployment benefits effective April 16, 2006 and notified the employer of its chargeability on May 2nd, 2006. On May 22nd, 2006, the employer appealed the administrator's decision to the Handon Office of the Appeals Division. The Appeals Division scheduled a hearing of the appeal for January 21st, 2006, which the claimant and the employer attended. Holy shit, DSP actually showed up to court? Well, it was about money, him getting it, not him paying it, so I guess it was important enough for him to show up. By a decision issued on June 21st, 2006, Principal of P. Referee Herbert R. Pelly affirmed the administrator's, administrator's ruling, i.e., they got to pay him unemployment. The employer filed a timely appeal to the Board of Review on July 12, 2006. Acting under authority contained in General Statutes 31 249, we have reviewed the record and the appeal including the tape recording of the referee's hearing. 11. Issue or 2? Uh, that's 2, not 11. Anyways, issue. The referee ruled that the employer discharged the claimant for reasons other than willful misconduct in the course of his employment. In support of this appeal from the referee's decision, the employer reiterates its contention that the claimant purchased game consoles at a discount in order to earn a profit holding video game tournaments. The employer maintains that the claimant knew that he was violating company policy by using the employee discount to purchase equipment for use in a personal business. The employer also maintains that the claimant can organize future tournaments just that he will ultimately use the items he purchased for a profitable business. The issue before the board is whether the employee discharged the claimant for willful misconduct in the course of his employment. I know that's provisions of law explaining the law, which we don't care about. Next. 
4. Findings affecting conclusions of law. In the case before us, the claimant received an employee discount of $2.70 on the three video game consoles used in a tournament that he volunteered to organize. Although the tournament participant, wow, participants each contributed $10 to defray the cost of the event, the referee found the claimant credible in testifying that he did not make a profit, did not intend to organize any similar tournaments, and has retained the consoles for his personal use. There is nothing in the record that would cause us to overturn the referee's credibility determination. The claimant made no attempt to hide the transaction, which only resulted in a very minimal discount for the claimant. We thus concur in the referee's conclusion that the claimant did not normally violate the employer's discount policy. We find that the parties have not offered any argument in support of or in opposition to the appeal, which would disturb the referee's findings of fact. We further find that the findings are supported by the record and that the conclusion reached by the referee is consistent with these findings and the provisions of Connecticut Unemployment Compensation Act. Accordingly, we adopt the referee's findings of fact and decisions. $2.70. This fucker got fired from his job over $2.70. DSP, that doesn't even cover the tax that you spent on that. Also, I, I'm just, my brain's trying to comprehend this. He lost his job over to 70. Also, what the hell kind of discount is $2.70? How is that an employee discount? That is literally 90 cents per console. Holy shit. You know what? Maybe DSP's right. Maybe he's not paranoid. Maybe they were looking for just any reason to get rid of him. Oh yes, using your employee discount to buy consoles to run a tournament. Probably against the rules. But I mean, come on. $2.70. The hell, DSP? You lost a job over $2.70. But, again, maybe he was correct. Maybe he wasn't being paranoid when he said that they were just looking for any reason to get rid of him because I stood up to the boss. No, you were insubordinate. The boss told you to take a test. You said, no, that wasn't in the job description, guys, okay? <laughs> and so, maybe, just maybe, for once in his life, he was correct. He was not being paranoid. He was correct. That Best Buy was trying to get him in any way, shape, or form that they could. Holy shit. I'm just... Wow. $2.70 cost you your job. I'm just dumbfounded that he let $2.70 cost him his job. <sighs> wow. Unemployment isn't that much. It's like, what, three quarters of what you usually make? Or 70%? Something like that. Something stupid like that. And no DSP, he wasn't making that much because he was probably calling off a lot because he was, I'm sick, guys. No, I'm not hungover. I'm sick. Ack, ack, ack. Wouldn't surprise me. God, I'm all the way back in 2006, he was a piece of shit. Of course, he's been a piece of shit since he was probably crying as soon as he crawled out of his mom, but who knows. <sighs> I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.